When it comes to the roster of the Denver Broncos, the one position that has remained a need for the longest is linebacker. For years, it has been a back thought for John Elway, but with Vic Fangio and now George Payton, that all could change. Fitting the scheme at linebacker is vital for Vic Fangio, and Notre Dame's Jeremiah owusu karamora just isn't a fit. First of all, his more natural position would be safety in the NFL, but that doesn't help him fit much for the Broncos. He is a great athlete that can excel in coverage, but Fangio's linebackers have to work against the run, which is where the concern is. Being a great prospect can only take you so far, but a large part of the draft process is finding scheme fits, which is especially true for Denver and their defense. Then there is Pete Werner out of Ohio State, who is a solid scheme fit with his intangibles, but he is just another Josie Jewel. Werner is a limited athlete, but he has a good football IQ to work in the NFL if he is placed in the right role. With the Broncos, that role is exactly what Jewel is doing for the Broncos, and Werner doesn't look like a major upgrade to be worth it. There are other Ohio State linebackers like Baron Browning that could be options, but Werner just doesn't seem like the best option from his team even. Finally, there is Merlin Robertson out of Arizona State who is a combination of bad scheme fit and personnel fit. Robertson is a great athlete, but he looks more like a strong side linebacker that can offer up a good pass rush as a blitzer. While he could work as an inside linebacker in Fangio's scheme, his best role would be what Alexander Johnson currently brings. So unless the Broncos let Johnson go as a restricted free agent, there just isn't a fit for Robertson. Denver needs linebacker help, and they have to find the right fits with the scheme and with the personnel. There is no doubt they will be looking for help, but these three guys just aren't the best of fits in what is a very strong draft class for linebackers this year. For Mile High Huddle, I'm Eric Trickle.